So I thought I'd check back in uh, here uh, on the at the end of the fourth turn. And actually, it's not quite the end because we do have to play the 11 core card uh, chit. And uh, there's a curious thing as I was just starting to go through uh, what I thought was the end of the turn. Let me just roll the die here and see if it's going to be worthwhile. Maybe not. I get to move two extra units. Uh, there's a curious thing with supply. As I read the rules, I read that you know you can trace it uh, from a road, village, or township, I think it is, or ferry, yeah, uh, to a supply source. Well, and of course, no, they'll go through Ezox and stuff like that. But that, so that also means that units like this dude here and this dude here, even though they're adjacent to a road and this guy's one hex away from a road, uh, this guy here, they all have to roll for supply at the end of the turn, and they can potentially lose a step or become disrupted, depending on, on what they roll, I believe. Uh, let's see, each unsupplied unit of each Chinese unit supply from Chongdei uh, loses a step on a one, disorganized on a two or a three, uh, and uh, Chengdu is uh, disorganized on a one or a two. So I, that's pretty brutal. And it means everything really gets channeled and you can't all stay on the road because you've got to cover your flanks and protect stuff. So it's an unusual little construct here that I have not played correctly in this particular game. And the other thing that we have done wrong is that uh, we have been accumulating tactical chits Whereas you are, uh, and this is where I don't quite follow the rule here, is there's a, uh, you're only allowed to have the, the amount of tactical chits that you, of the die roll number. Now, that die roll number is not the result from the table, it's the die roll number. It says here somewhere, you said flipping pages very quickly that uh, each player draws the chits uh, once they're placed, they're placed back in their wasabi cup okay so they do get to be reused a player may decide to save one or more for the next time the next turn but he can never have more TC in hand than result of the die roll okay so result of the die roll that makes sense so I can never have more than whatever it was the last turn so we did do that wrong, and I uh, subsequently played, I did play, unfortunately I took some pictures and they didn't take, but I used an infiltration here and a bonsai and a sapper, uh, which would be okay, because I rolled, I think I, I rolled uh, for, the, for the Japanese army, I think I rolled a three, which meant I could have up to four chits. My intention was to use kind of all my chits and try and mass in here and, and knock stuff out. As it turned out, we were not successful in knocking these guys out. And then this formation, the 57th activated and snuck in to reinforce that flak unit. And uh, we had bombing runs here and all sorts of fun stuff. And none of that got recorded because for some reason my camera has decided to take pictures only when it really wants to which is rather unusual. Now I do have the opportunity here to take two more, sh uh, two more, activate two more units. Um, and I may just try a, uh, an all, all in attack here. Uh, that would give me uh, 14 factors attacking across the river. And so I'm going to be halved as the stream. So I'm half, so it's seven factors and these guys are going to be doubled. They have a strength of three. So it'd be six, it'd be a one to one attack. So let's just do that. Uh, of course, this is where if I had a had a bonsai card or a bonsai chit, I'd uh, roll three dice. So now I'm going to roll two. Oh, okay. So I rolled an eleven. That's probably actually going to be losses for these guys on a one to one. Uh, no, one loss for these fellas. They're both. So someone's going to die. So we'll lose the the flag unit. So that was worth actually doing there. So now they've whittled away just a little bit more. Um, so now what we would do for the end of the end of the uh, turn is we take these disruption markers off and then we're probably going to end up putting them back on because we're going to roll for supply the supply situation and I'll do all that in a minute but 
there you go. So I just thought I'd check in with you a little bit there and give you an extra four or five minutes and explain a couple of little mechanics uh, for supply. There's one other rule that's not in the rule book, and I don't know if I mentioned it last time. Uh, in the sequence of play, it refers to the retreat rule, and uh, that it becomes activated in turn two. There's nothing on the turn track to tell me what to do. There's nothing in the rules to tell me what to do either. So we're ignoring that rule. Maybe that was something that was either A, lost in translation, or B, uh, part of the original game that was meant to be kept or perhaps uh, was discarded. Who knows? So, oh, whoa, <laughs> crunch. I bet you that scared the daylights out of you. So if you weren't awake, now you are. Anyway, that's the uh, that's kind of the wrap up for the end of turn four. I'll do, I'll do uh, supply and stuff off camera. Talk to you guys soon.